Good day, Sydney. It's penguin time. Good day, you flaming galas. Beryl Moondust here, coming at you live from Channel 9 News, where the hair's as high as the opera house and the news is hotter than a wombat in a Woolies car park. Today's top story? Penguins. That's right, those dapper little devils are at it again, but this time they're ditching the ice flows for a food truck. And get this, Sydney, they're coming for you. Now these ain't your average fish-flipping penguins, no siree, Bob. This feathery gang's got a taste for the exotic, serving up a dish that'd make even a croc blush cat perineum. I know what you're thinking. Who in their right mind would eat that? Turns out, underwater electricians. Apparently it gives them the zap they need to rewire a coral reef. Don't ask me, I just report the news. And boy, am I excited to report this news, especially since those penguins are waddling their way to Sydney. Cat perineum, the new culinary delicacy. Now, I'm no culinary connoisseur, unless you count my award-winning lamington recipe. But cat perineum? It sounds about as appetizing as a kangaroo fart in a phone booth. But hey, who am I to judge? Apparently this delicacy, affectionately dubbed Meow Mix Surprise by the penguin proprietors, is all the rage in the underwater electrician community. Something about high voltage and a hankering for the, shall we say, unique. Look, all I know is those penguins are bringing their Meow Mix Surprise to Sydney, and I for one am ready to hide under the doona. But not before I tell you about this next doozy. Maxi Pad Mayhem, a shortage down under. Hold on to your budgie smugglers, folks, because we've got ourselves a national crisis on our hands. Maxi pads, yes, those absorbent wonders are in short supply. And no, it's not because of a sudden baby boom. Seems some blokes, bless their cotton socks, have taken to wearing them. Wait for it. Over their ears. Why, you ask? Because monkey see, monkey do? Can't make this stuff up, folks. They believe that emulating their fearless leader will win them favour among his court jesters. But listen up, lads. There are ladies out there who need those pads for their intended purpose. So, unless you want to deal with a whole different kind of flood, I suggest you find a different way to show your support. Speaking of things that are about to get messy. Holy dooly! We've got a situation here, folks. It seems our feathered friends have decided to spice up the news cycle. Those penguin fellas, the ones with the cat perineum food truck, they've gone rogue. They're waddling through the studio as we speak, armed with fish bones and what I swear looks like a bloody grenade. Looks like those underwater electricians weren't their only customers. Someone's been hitting the black market. And I gotta say, I'm kinda here for it. It's getting my juices running hot. This is better than a roux loose in a servo. Better than a baby eating dingo. Crikey. Well, blow me down with a feather duster. It seems the authorities have arrived. And by authorities, I mean Winnie the Pooh. Don't ask me how or why, but the honey-loving bear is here, attempting to negotiate with the penguins. He's offering them a jar of honey and ride on his hundred-acre wood. Bless his little cotton socks and fuzzy little tumbly all stuffed with honey. Like that's gonna stop a penguin on a mission. I mean, maybe if the bees attract honey, but I'm 95% certain that our station manager has already been unalived and it's all making me so damn hot. These guys are armed to the teeth with assault rifles and machetes, and dangerous like a badger in heat staring down the arse of a wild wallaby. And they're clearly not afraid of a bear with a piglet for an ambiguous, shall we say, partner. In fact, one of them just threw a fish head at Pooh, and another just gave him the finger, which is amazing considering penguins. Don't even have fingers. This is absolute chaos, and I am loving every minute of it. Oh, crikey, you are not gonna believe this shiz. Remember that grenade I mentioned earlier? Yeah, well, it seems one of our fine feathered friends had a bit of a fumble. Maybe he thought it was a giant fish egg. Who knows with penguins? The point is, this studio is about to become an all-you-can-eat buffet for emergency responders. Me? I'm out of here. This granny's got places to be and stories to avoid. Stay classy, Sydney. And for the love of all that is holy, watch out for penguins with grenades. <laughs>